Way 31's Alex Torres Perez joins us live with what dispatchers were thinking as they heard one of their own law enforcement officers was injured. It was a moment no agency ever wants to be in and that no amount of training can actually prepare you for. But that was the situation Monday afternoon with that officer involved shooting. Now I spoke to Ryan Weisenhaus and he was actually in his office when he thought he heard a yell. So he went to the call center where his director told him to come in and start answering calls immediately. He says it was especially tough for him to be in that situation because just a few weeks ago, Chief Rick Williams was at the 911 center having a conversation with him. Your heart breaks. You know, that's the, the raw uh, feeling that you have. In that moment, you want to take a moment and try to just, you know, wrap your thoughts around what has just occurred. But you can't. You know, you have to remain calm. You have to rely on your training and you have to perform extraordinarily and just continue to move forward. To now, Ryan says he knew he had to keep doing his job because even though their world as ditch dispatchers seemed to stop, emergency calls were still coming in and managers and administrators at the 911 center were also stepping in at the call center in order to give some of those dispatchers a moment to just gather their thoughts and have a moment to just process what was happening now dispatchers tell me they're just glad that the chief is doing okay and recovering at home reporting live in priceville alex torres perez way 31 news